So the Atori Super Channel. There's another version that has an extra lip here that comes out further up the squeegee rubber there. This is the version I've been using. I can't understand why that extra lip would make it any better. I don't see the need for it. In fact, I don't think it would make it better because it wouldn't allow the rubber to flex there the way you need it to. But anyway, this is an 18 inch I got here and I've been using this on some of my domestic work where there's larger windows and I've been using um, it a bit on some commercial um, work that I do as well, some shop fronts and I've got this 36 inch here which is a bit of a handful but I've been trying that out on, um, on some of the larger shop fronts that I do as well. Really fantastic, it puts a nice even pressure across, uh, across the glass. I mean it's really strong and sturdy and it feels quite heavy duty. Because of that this um, big channel works really well. It's made from aluminium, I thought it was going to be a bit um, kind of lighter really but it's got a nice weight to it. And when you start swinging it across a window it feels really good nice even weight. It's kind of no frills, there's no clever tricks there, it's just straight down the line. Love that it's in gold, um, it's a really nice feature. Uh, just that makes it stand out from the crowd. Um, it's not like some of the other wide body channels where there's a different material at the end and they have, um, it changes to like a plastic grip on the end of the channel. Um, it's just all the same material, the same body all the way along. Love the way it holds the rubber in the channel. There's no, some of the other squeegee channels allow room for the squeegee to flex inside the channel. This one doesn't really have that. And it uses these um, um, little clips in the end here, which Atori have used for years. And I guess if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. I mean, if I just take the uh, rubber out there, I don't know if you can see down there, but there's just one place for the rubber to sit all the way down. It's all just one shape, which makes it really strong, really sturdy. It just holds the rubber blade in there nice and strong and firm all the way down the channel. It's come with quite a hard rubber in it, the Atori rubber. So I feel you have to put down quite a bit of pressure on the glass when um, just to get that flex in the rubber and to get into the corners. And when you're using it, it feels very uh, definite. You feel very precise. So that's been really good. But just in closing out, when you come to the end of the uh, if you close out to the side or you close out to the bottom of the glass you just need to make sure you concentrate that right into the into the corner right into the finish otherwise you can get a little judder on 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 the end there if you've got a softer touch in the way you work i think this would be great with a soft rubber it's just going to hold it on there um, nice and even and straight you know if you've got this you're confident that it's just going to work it's going to do the job that it needs to do and uh, uh, you're not going to waste any time that um, this is not going to let you down you're just going to get straight on and get the job done i've got it here on a contour pro plus handle tried as hard as i can to get on with this and then i've got this one on a pro grip i mean these are good these are okay handles there's uh, i've got no real criticism of them they've got a nice grip but it didn't take me long to figure out that uh, not a lot touches this handle. So I've shoved it on there and it sits on there, a treat. That is uh, now gonna be one of my favorite combinations for sure. The control that that handle gives you and the um, accuracy that this channel gives you, um, that is almost a dream combination. This is definitely gonna be one of the main pieces of kit for me that I'm gonna use from now on, a real pleasure to use. And one thing I would say about this, when I first started using it, I was just kind of clunking, clunking into the frame a little bit. If you notice the underside of this, some of the other wide body channels um, kind of cut away a little bit more on the underside of the squeegee, which kind of makes it easier when you're coming into the corners. It cuts down. I'm more used to using a 16 inch. I think that's what the problem was. So when I was coming across the window, I was just clunking the underside of the channel into the uh, frame of the window a little bit. So all I had to do was just adjust my technique slightly so that when I came across I was more horizontal so it was the rubber that was hitting um, the frame and, and, and not the underside of the channel. 
apart from that, I've had no problems with it at all. It really uh, suits the way I work and, and I've really enjoyed um, using this. So big thanks to Atori. If you want to give your window cleaning that golden touch, I would thoroughly recommend it. This is the channel for you. That's my review of the Atori Super Channel. Hope you liked it, hope you found it helpful. So thanks for watching. Like my video, subscribe. Why not check out what else is on my channel? Hope to see you again soon.